Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for January. It usually is a card of someone wanting to come back around. Let's clarify. Why is five of pentacles in reverse here? Some of you, I, I am feeling distance or separation here. And this person does miss you, if that is the case. We have five of swords. Yeah, there may be a sort of that silent treatment um, playing mind games, but more so I'm not getting that um, they're trying to play with your heart. I'm more so getting someone who's trying to hide their interest in you for whatever reason. Perhaps for some reason they can't offer you stability or they're not ready um, to move things to the next level, but they do have emotions for you. Page of Cups. Why is Five of Pentacles in reverse here? Hangman. Yeah, you're both not communicating. Nothing's being expressed, and as a result, things are in limbo. You, this person may be holding on to a grudge, or you may be. Six of Cups in reverse, but there's also a missing you, so it's weird. How this person will be viewing you, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this person viewing Taurus as Four of Pentacles in reverse for April? Someone who's released them, and you're out and about living your life. Some of you may be traveling, but they feel you're not stuck on this situation anymore. Um, that you have other people vying for your attention. They don't like that. This is someone who can be prone to jealousy. They can be competitive. So there is some suspicions here. How you'll be viewing them, we have Queen of Swords in reverse. You're viewing them as someone who's closed off, perhaps been very hurt in the past, but they have issues with um, expressing their emotions. I see that with the Five of Swords, a lot of inner conflict. But sometimes Queen of Swords in reverse can be a very difficult energy to work with, right? Can be bitchy, moody. Why is Queen of Swords in reverse? For how Taurus will be viewing this person. Eight of Pentacles, some of you feel, yeah, they're all about themselves. They're very closed off and they are their number one priority nine of pentacles which you're correct in their feelings we have eight of wands in reverse nine of pentacles upright this is someone who's taking better care of themselves um perhaps eating better trying to live a more healthier lifestyle that is what i'm getting some of them could be students or right she's holding a book here with nine of pentacles can be learning something but I definitely see personal development. Eight of Wands in reverse is Mercury and Sagittarius. So again, blockages in communication. Why will this person be feeling the Eight of Wands in reverse for Taurus? April. The cards that are associated with the air signs, right? We only have five of swords, and then eight of swords is Mercury and Sagittarius, which is also communication, and then we have the eight of swords. There's bad communication here, or when you are dealing with each other, it can be um, difficulty um, understanding one another, where the other person's coming from, but I definitely see communication issues here. Why is eight of wands in reverse here? They're bringing pages your way. Very small offers, or that is what they were doing in the past. We have Three of Swords, Magician, High Priestess. Yeah, the reason this person's on guard is perhaps they were cheated on, or they're healing from some sort of heartbreak. And very few of you, I'm not getting this as the main storyline, but I do have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, so it can be either an ex-partner, a wife, husband, 
or it can be that they are with this energy right now, which is why there's separation between the both of you, and there's three people in the five of swords, right? Um, although this person's missing you, they're not expressing that because they may already be involved. And others of you, yeah, the reason this person's being manipulative here, um, they're hiding their feelings is because of this Three of Swords energy. They're very blocked off. Why is Nine of Pentacles here? For how this person will be feeling about Taurus. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, yeah. I'll have to see what this person's doing. We'll do a mid-month reading, but right now I'm seeing a lot of stagnancy here. Um, things aren't moving forward, but it's sort of, I wouldn't say one foot in, one foot out. Um, there may be some challenges here in the way, but this person isn't leaving. We have Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they are focused on themselves. They're dragging their feet, but there's also Four of Swords in reverse. I don't think this is over. It's not a bad energy. I'm not getting someone who's flighty. This is someone who knows what they want. They are coming through as sorted in that way. Can be just a very independent energy, right? Um, it's sort of Aquarius vibes I'm getting from them. Yeah, Justice, Two of Cups. There's love here. We have Venus and Venus in Cancer. Definite love. Some of you are committed to this person and they've been acting a bit distant, but there's still love here. Regardless of what your situation is, there's mutual love. That is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of potential here. This person's intentions towards you, we have Emperor Upright, Queen of Wands in reverse. Let's clarify this. Why is Emperor here as this person's intentions towards Taurus? I'm a bit confused here. And if I look at their actions, why is Emperor here for this person's intentions? Queen of Pentacles. This is a very dominant energy, King of Swords in reverse. Some of you, yeah, they do keep an eye on you, but it can also be, I'm not sure I like the King of Swords in reverse. I'm not getting a liar here. Um, some of you may have felt deceived though. It's a general reading because we have two Queens, but for a majority of you, I'm getting just someone who, there's emotional issues here. They're not acting right they're very stubborn my we are the highway some of you they're holding on to some grudge here something that an argument between the both of you in the past but they seem to be very work focused like they're preoccupied or yeah. two of pentacles juggling why is queen of wands in reverse here they're not taking action is what i'm getting for the time being it's a different reading. We'll figure this out. Why is Queen of Wands in reverse here? Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, something to do with children, a baby mom. They're holding on to what are they? What is Chariot looking back at? Six of Cups in reverse. Their past, and some of you again. That Queen of Wands is uh, energy they were dealing with. An ex. But be very careful if this energy is still present because that Queen of Wands can be a very difficult energy to work with, very bitter, revengeful, right? What action this person is taking towards you, we have Hierophant in reverse. They're resisting some sort of change and they're not committing. It doesn't mean it can't get their Taurus, especially if it's a new person who's been acting very guarded. They've been hurt, right? So they're taking their time with the Knight of Pentacles action this person will take. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're avoiding commitment here. The reason will be different for each one of you. Um, some of you, they're...
I'm getting a little bit of a selfish energy here. Taurus. Ooh. What fell was seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's that same energy. Things are in limbo. They're not leaving the situation, but they're not entirely committing for whatever reason. Can be someone who's saying, I need to focus on myself right now. They are responsible. They're the emperor. They have their stuff together. Some of them can be older. They're mature. They're trying to do the right thing. At least their intentions aren't bad, which is why I don't see deception here with Seven of Swords. But it's almost that energy. You know, if there is a third energy, you'd be already aware of it, right? With Emperor. How you'll be feeling? We have Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups in reverse. You feel things are... Not going anywhere. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm seeing stagnancy here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Hangman upright. Knight of Pentacles. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening here. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse? And some of you feel it's external factors getting in the way, right? It's not meant to be. Some of you may feel like giving up. But if you were hurt over this situation, you're recovering. You're healing. Hope is restored, whether it comes to this situation, but just in love in general. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse? You're not trying to control anything. But a lot of you do want a new you know, a new beginning. Reconciliation, judgment. Some of you are secretly wanting another chance with this person. But you feel it's not the right time. Why is Five of Cups in reverse here for how Taurus will be feeling? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, at one point you were feeling very left out. Like this person wasn't letting you in. Some of you were feeling insecure. But that is what you're coming out of. You're healing and you're feeling like yourself again. Higher fit. You're believing in yourself. You're not the problem here, Taurus, and that is what you're realizing. You're doing well. Some of you were committed to this person. And in the past, they had you involved in a third party with the Queen of Pentacles Emperor, right? Three energies here. They stepped out on a commitment. There may have been a divorce, and you may have a child with this person. That will be for few of you. Your outcome, we have Eight of Swords in reverse. Sorry, Eight of Swords upright. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the outcome for Taurus? Death world. Yeah, a chapter is closing out. Things are not in your hands. You're feeling your hands are tied because there is a higher power at work here with two major kind of back to back. There's a little bit of resistance here, um, Taurus, to change. And this change may be feeling uncomfortable, but you have no choice is what I'm getting here. So a lot of overthinking swords, spending a lot of time in your head, feeling trapped, but you're learning valuable lessons here. Why is Eight of Swords here? Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, you're more powerful than you think. Why is this? Eight of Swords can be insecurities. A lesson you're learning here is self-love. Putting your needs first. Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You're very stable and you have that power to remove yourself from whatever this is. Is it a thought pattern? Is it a situation you're feeling stuck in? They say, they're saying you have that power to change it, right? This is what you're heading into, I'm getting. The Queen of Wands upright and Ten of Pentacles. Stability, empowerment. But it's almost like 
getting there is difficult, right? But you will reach your end goal is what I'm seeing. And others of you, I'm seeing distance. Travel is involved. And that is why circumstances are keeping you both apart. In their outcome, we have chariot in reverse. Yeah, they're very stuck as well. And they're not moving forward. This person, a lot of their energy was signifying that they're stuck in the past. They need to move forward. They were working on themselves. I was seeing that wise chariot here. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's very stuck in the past. They're mourning the two cups we had in their feelings. A lot of you, there's separation or distance here. They miss you. Five of Cups. And others of you, if you don't resonate with that, something to do with the maternal figure. Someone they lost, they're grieving. But a lot of you, they're grieving you. Two of Cups. They miss you. But they're just very stuck in the past. Eight of Cups. Something that they have to leave behind. I'm seeing emotional withdrawal here in the outcome. And some of you, because we have death, Eight of Cups, this can be a breakup between the both of you. You both not seeing eye to eye going your separate ways. And that's causing both of you a lot of sadness, anxiety. Your advice, we have passion. There's untapped potential. It's time to take action on your passion and make magic happen. Yeah, that is why the Queen of Wands was wanting to peek through. They're saying it's time to take action. There's a lot of being stuck in your head. It's time to get moving. That is what they're saying. Let's give you one more advice. What advice do you have for Taurus? Chakras. Your chakras are out of balance. Align your internal energies to help release physical and emotional blockages. They're saying if it doesn't work out with this energy, there's someone else coming in and it'll be a connection to celebrate we have support and celebrate that's for those of you that are going through a difficult breakup here let's get you love fortune teller Love to the next level, 72. False promises. Okay, some of you, this person could have been leading you on. Um, they are right in their actions coming through as someone who's avoiding commitment. So that is something that you need to be weary of. We have fear of the unknown and new love will find you. Yeah, wasn't I just saying 4-4 four, four is coming through? Some of you are holding on to the situation out of familiarity. You're comfortable. But they're saying confront your fear of the unknown. You will find new love. Especially if someone has been, right, with false promises deceiving you. <laughs> this really wants to come through, so we'll take it. New love will find you. I'm not seeing straight out deception in this reading, Taurus, but it can be that. It's because you've already went your separate ways, right? There's no way this person can deceive you. They don't have control over you or this situation. And I was seeing someone who's a little bit of a control freak throughout this reading. Control freak or just a bit of an ego here. Stemming from insecurities, really. Their past, their childhood. We have obsessed with you. And mirroring you. Yeah, so if you've been thinking about them a lot, they think about you as well. I wasn't seeing, I was getting you um, 
healing from this situation. And they're saying don't let love blind you. Some of you will have options if you've been playing the field. They're saying take your time if that is the case. Yeah, in this in this person's outcome, they're definitely mourning you, missing you. And we have expect to travel. Those of you that the missing is because there's distance. Um, you can be traveling to see this person. They're saying practice self-love. They want you to step into that queen of wands energy. They're taking their time. I was telling you, this is someone who's dragging their feet. Nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, love bombing. Again, with false promises. Pay attention to what this person is doing rather than what they're saying is a strong message. Don't let love blind you. Look at the facts, right? Is this person reliable? Will they be there for you? Have they been there for you in the past? Are they giving you mixed messages? Do they run hot and cold? This is everything you need to pay attention to, right? Because you deserve better if they're doing any of that. <laughs> More scared to lose you. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let go. They don't want to lose you. We see that. But they're not acting right either. I'm feeling vindictive towards you. It's better we keep our distance. Yeah, this person's likely holding on to some grudge when it comes to you. There's anger. That Queen of Wands in reverse can be their energy. With Emperor, um, I'm not budging. I, I was feeling resentment throughout this reading, so it is an important message. And wasn't I telling you a bit of a control freak? I'm so terrified to lose you that I find myself wanting to control you. This person may have had you uh, feeling very vulnerable, helpless, but you, there's, I'm getting that toxic behavior was wanting to come through with love fortune teller. I see that. It's Hierophant, you're stepping back into your power, and this person doesn't like that. Let's get one more. <laughs> I love you, but I'm afraid what this love might bring. I'm not sure I'm ready. Yeah, some of them are just not ready for a commitment here. Uh, Taurus doesn't mean it can't get there because they do love you. We had that two of cups with justice Venus, right? But there's a fear of commitment here for whatever reason. But yes, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Hopefully this gave you some clarity when it comes to your situation. I know it was one of the more confusing reads, but this is what came through. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.